up everybody? I'm gonna get another video up for you guys today. It's been a while, I apologize. Things have still been crazy, which I'm sure they have been for you guys as well, and we all know. But um just heading to a call now. I got a um this is like a convenience store gas station place. It's a it's like an open air sandwich cooler, kind of like an island that goes all the way around. It's got it's like a multi-deck case. Um, I kind of an idea what's going on. So I'm gonna try to get a little footage for you. Um, I'm probably not gonna be able to talk much because I know this store is gonna be very busy. There's gonna be a million people around and all that. So we'll, um, we'll let you know what's going on when I get there and um, we'll go from there. Catch you guys in a few. This is a recap guys, I apologize, I, I couldn't get much footage there, it's just been too busy and there was a lot of, you know, commotion in that store and people and everything, but I just wanted to show you those, um, a, a little, quick little bit about the, um, those spool and smart probes that I have, uh, it's a spool and smart tool, um, my, my company bought me that, my boss got me that, um, there's only a couple of us that have them, I'm one of the guys, we keep them in our trucks, I use them on a lot of startups and stuff, uh, not as much anymore, because I also got my digital gauges too, but, you know, if you guys want to see anything further on those, let me know, because I actually think they're really cool, and they, I've never had an issue with them, I think they work really well, um, you can read them through walk-in boxes, everything, with the, the Bluetooth seems to work really good on those so I just wanted to give you a uh, quick little show of those because um, I actually myself I haven't even used them in a while but for something like that what I was doing in that case they they work really well but anyway what was happening was when I got there this case was running at 42 degrees okay and this place has very very strict rules about what they can when they can put their food in. It has to be 38 or lower, and they have thermometers in there. They don't just sense the air temperature. They, like, they simulate, like, product temperature. So your air temperature in there could be blowing out at 30 degrees, but those things could be up at, like, 42, saying that's their product temperature. So they're very, I know, it's, it's wicked picky, but it's the way it is. So they, they pretty much, we can't leave there until they're, like, 38 degrees. So what I was finding was, you know, we're running 40, 42, that's fine, but it would not go down. My pressures were good on the roof. My, my compressor superheat was high. It was like a 35. So usually if your compressor superheat is either high or low, it means your superheat down in your case is either high or low. So that case has an evaporator on either side, so it's got two expansion valves in it, one for each evaporator. So I checked the superheats. The first one was up at like 20 22 so we all know that's way too high we want between 8 and 10 okay with like 404a but that's what we do anyway you know medium temp whatever 8 to 10 so i had to adjust that i had to adjust it about um a turn and a quarter and as i've shown in one of my other videos i like to mark the stem on the valve with black marker or red paint pen something just so you know so you can keep track of where you've turned that stem to and I turned it counterclockwise out to lower our superheat so I got that down you see it I got that between 8 and 10 um, the other side was running at around 12 to 13 when I first put the probes on there so that was 
Not too bad, but it's still a little too high. So I adjusted that one. It was about three quarters of a turn, not even a full turn. And um, that came down, same thing. Fluctuating between eight and 10, which is fine. That's what we want. I got the case down. I had thermometers on around that thing, 38 to 36 um, for the whole thing. Um, that last clip there, you'll see my suction, I mean my compressor superheat um, went down to, I believe it was 26. Going between, but when it was going, it was going between like 25 to 26 and a half. That's good. We want like 25 to 30 degrees of superheat is good on, on your compressor. And you probably also saw that the head pressure did seem high. It was at 350 at the time. It was fluctuating between like 335 and 350. The condenser was clean. I blew it out as well, and there wasn't really anything in it. You actually could see through it and everything. But sometimes 404A, what we have a very high ambient temp and very high humidity. That head pressure I found, at least in my area, with things I've worked on, will run high. You will see that over 300, and it it looks like it's not normal, but it. It is. The thing will still run fine. My back pressure was around 59, 60. Th that's fine for that. Um, 4, 4, 8. At least what I found for that. So, like it says, as the ambient temp and everything lowers, that will also lower as well. That head pressure, just for some of you that probably thought, like, whoa, that's pretty high. But, like I said, it is, it is and it isn't, you know dealing with the conditions that we've been dealing with. We've been having heat in the 90s with like 80, 90% humidity here for like the last three weeks. It's been ridiculous. So everything is running. It, it even makes your pressures look weird on things. It's crazy. So I wanted to explain that as well. I wanted to add to guys what also makes these cases struggle. Obviously they're open. Um, but this store, um, this will also add to head pressure and heat load on the case and everything, which is way more than what they're designed for. Um, it's been so hot. The manager told me also at that store, the ACs are running. I was on the roof. I wasn't there to check them, but they are. I noticed that they were running because I was up there. But the, um, he tells me that when the store, you know, when it gets to noon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, when the heat's at its highest, that area of the store is like 80 degrees. 77, 80 degrees, that's no good for an open air case. It can't handle that load. And the reason being is because every one of these particular stores, the geniuses that design these places, or the interior designers or whoever comes out with the layout here, likes to put these open air cases about eight to 10 feet from the door where people are constantly coming in and out of. So it's just a constant wave of like 90 degree air coming into that space right there and right into that case. So you guys tell me what that case is gonna do. Is it gonna struggle or not? I think that's kind of common sense. It's gonna struggle. So that's also adding, adding to our problem. Once this heat's gone and fall comes, everything, everything will be beautiful. You guys know, everything runs perfect in that weather. But I wanted to add that as well, but Everything else was running fine on it, guys, and that's it. Um, sorry, I'm doing more talking than showing actual field stuff in this one. I couldn't, like I said, it was, I couldn't really film like in that store much. And there's really nothing to show you on the roof except that quick, uh, clip of the gauges there. So, but just an update too. Like I said, I've been so busy. I'm sure everyone has. It's been nuts. I've been on installations a lot too, helping out with big refrigeration installs and stuff. So, can't really film on that stuff. So, once I get back more things get back to normal slow down I'll get back on a more of a regular schedule of posting videos for you guys so be patient with me seems like I got a great bunch of subscribers here it's, it's awesome gaining new subscribers and having you guys support me and I love hearing from you guys in the comments so um thanks for the support guys and um as always stay hydrated boys try to stay cool take your time don't kill yourselves and I'll catch you boys on the next one